Hey, CB Tech stuff. It's been a while, I know. In case you can't tell, I have actually moved into a small rent house. Which is pretty nice, except for one thing, the internet here is, could be a lot faster. Uh, just result of the area. As a result, um, some shows on my Fire Stick, in particular live TV through IPTV, have a lot of buffering problems over Wi-Fi. Best way I've found to take care of this is running direct wire. So, I've got all the stuff I should need right here. My Wi-Fi and everything is back over here. That's where they ran the cable back from the front porch. Anyway, I gotta run the cable over from over there, across the room, over here somehow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run from the router, across the edge, all the way across, down and probably to a network switch right about there where the eight ball is sitting. I want the network switch into my PC, and, of course, into my Fire Stick. Now, Fire Sticks don't come with Ethernet connections by the t by uh, factory, so you have to actually order that. I got one right here. This is the official one. There are different non-official ones, but some of them vary in quality. Just got this one. Got a 50-foot flat style cat. This is a Cat 7 or Cat 8 cable. Got a shorter one to go between the fire stick and the switch, the network switch. And I got this one to go between my PC and the network switch. And of course, I've got this little Netgear GS305 5 port network switch. And I've also got all these little command hooks to hang the cable with because I do not want to have to screw anything into the wall. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Wish me luck. Real quick, I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and do a speed test with IPTV before I hook everything up. All right, so we got a ping of about 130, download about seven megabit per second. That is megabit per second, not megabyte per second. I'll put about three. It's about average. I'm technically paying for 20 megabits per second total, or well, 18 down, two up, but uh, it varies, and they're supposed to be working on the towers. It's fixed wireless. It works just like cell phone signal. All right, it didn't take as long as I thought it would, but it took me a little bit. There it is going up in there. I wish I would have known that one side didn't have the text on it, not the wire information, but I didn't figure out that out until about halfway through. Dirt. I hope those little plastic command hooks hold. Had a couple of them come loose on me while putting it up. Have to keep an eye on it, I guess. <sighs> little nut gear switch is pretty compact, so stick it back here. Get all here. I actually had excess cable. And I'm going across the molding over to the TV, over to my adapter. So, let's see what the speed test does. Alright, shows that to be all good. Let's see if that made any improvements on the speed test. Uh, cut the ping in about in half. Didn't really improve the download speed any. A little more stable. Hmm. I'm going to try what the Wi-Fi turned off. Well, the download speed is definitely more consistent. The ping didn't really improve at all. Let's turn the Wi-Fi back on here. One way to find out. Right now it's on CBS Live TV, and of course it's still stopping and buffering. That's annoying. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't know, maybe I'll just play my settings. Well, it would appear that it didn't really fix my buffering issue all that much. Pretty annoying. I guess all I can really do now is upgrade my internet plan, and hopefully they get their issues fixed with their new tower. But anyway, this has been CB Tech Stuff.